Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a beautiful day here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We are at the Disc Side of Heaven. Paul Uliberry, Jeremy Colling. What's up, dude? Stop numero cinco on the Disc Golf Pro Tour this season at a spot that... That's number five. Yes, yeah, number five. Uh, at a spot that we're very familiar with. But yeah. this year, there are some new changes. Yeah, I look forward to seeing the changes. Uh, today's sprinkling a little bit. And oh, yeah, we it is. Have, we have two guests today. But before we do that, today's giveaway for our Patreon members is going to be the Jomez Pro Tour Series Z Flex Cicada. Yeah, baby. We're going to... You're going to be throwing that I'm gonna throw the around. I'm going to throw it a couple times, yeah. Yep. Okay, well, let's bring in our two guests here. We've got two of Arkansas's best, Arkansans. Yeah. At finest. we got Luke Humphreys, Kevin Jones, bring it in here, fellas. What's up, wow? What's, What's up, up, baby? We're doing something a little special today. We are also going to be giving away some more today because we really like Jonesboro and we really like you. And we really like our Patreon members. So we're going to be giving away a disc that we're going to throw during the round. Luke, mm. what you got? I got a M4. It's like a... Uh, That's wild. That thing's yeah. sick. It's, yeah. it's pretty. It's really pretty. And what you got, Kev? 350 Color Glow PA3. We're going to sign these up. You're going to have a chance to win them. All you have to do is be a Patreon member. You know the deal. But since it's raining and they're actually having a practice or a, a, a qualifier, Soon. we got to get going. So we're going to go ahead and start this up. Thanks for joining, guys. Let's, Let's do this. Let's practice, baby. Wow. Yeah, you can throw, you can dance like a dub. Okay, first thing you might see here is, hey, we're not a whole one. You're wrong, we are a whole one. Rethink your, your stuff. Uh, but we are actually on old hole 14. This is a 520 foot downhill shot. We've got OB at the bottom of the hill. It looks like they've even pushed to OB farther back. So if the wind is present, this might be the first time ever we think about laying up on the first hole. That being said, 520 feet downhill, very reachable for all of us um, in the calm wind. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be finishing on hole five, old hole five, which will be the new 18. And I think there's a couple other changes, but we'll get to those as we play. Good luck. Yes, yeah, two off one, you said? Two off one. Two, two off one. one. All right. 500 to your favorite charity. 500 favorite charity sure, if All you right. win. All right. I'll get it ready. I do, uh, All right. I do feel a win. Did you guys get to throw shots and warm up and stretch and stuff? I haven't thrown a shot since final round of Houston. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go yeah. then. No nice. shots last week. I threw yesterday. That's safe. That's tilt, the Casey baby. White tilt, tilt spot tilt. right there. <laughs> you yeah, that's the spot. Yeah, that's your show. Oh, brother. Call up Casey real quick. Yeah, Ask I know. him, what was it 30% power? <laughs> I don't have a disc that could be thrown 100%, 30%, 12% Why to was do what that thing keep did. Keep getting on the thumb spot. Me no. you, big boy. I don't care. Being a little more Arkansan than I am. Why don't you take it? How, right. how Arkansan are you? Damn. Me? I'm well, my little, mom's Arkansan. Her entire family is Arkansan. Okay. Like, Able boy. But Kev's definitely like, he grew yeah, up. Yeah, he's full-fledged. He grew up in Greenwood. His dad's like literally I mean, Hall of Fame high school today, football bro. legend. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday in yeah, Skins. Yeah. Couple three It's Tuesday, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't even know. I think there's a TikTok dance. Oh, baby. Hello. Oh, yeah. baby. That's... One time me. Out. Are you Indoor. serious? Yeah, oh, brother. Dude. Hey everyone, I want to let you know today's video is sponsored by Fume. Fume is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong, so instead of an uncomfortable drastic change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume uses no batteries and is completely natural. And instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Fume has an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets or fidgeting. And they even make a really cool base for the fume when you're not using it. I recommend the crisp mint or the white cranberry. So head to tryfume.com slash jomezpro or scan the QR code and use code jomezpro to save an additional 10% off the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code jomezpro to save an additional 10% off your order. Thanks again to Fume for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. 
Nice par, nice par. It's Tuesday. I don't know what that means. Let me hear you in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I think he did like some movie reference. Okay. What are these guys? These guys Rangers? are top of the mornings to you. Oh, over yeah. the tree? Get past the OB. Yeah, dude. Okay, okay. okay. All right, nice shot. All right, let's make this one count. That one's the counter. That thing's frippy. Yeah, it's flippy. Hit <laughs> it. I like a lot about it. Mine a little rainy today, but part. it makes it even more fun for you guys at home watching us do this out here. Yeah, we going we gonna be wet. <laughs> you know, last time I wore this jacket. Good morning. Wow. Nope. Awesome. Dude, that's my flippiest you know time I wore it before that. Flew like the nope. most stable disc in the world. Yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> we need one Waco. USCGC 2016. Stop. What? Yeah, Stop. dude. No way. Yeah, yeah, this thing's been in the closet for a while. Oh, wow. Like, this thing is older Bond. than a lot of pro players. Breaking career. it out. All right, this one's for Yuli. Whoa. Whoa, this is a true story. The last oh, time I wore no. this jacket in a major championship, Gannon Burr was 10. What? <laughs> That's annoying. Fun fact. Hey, uh, Germ, do you uh, happen God. to mind if I frisk you and Yuli for plastic snakes this round real quick before we get started? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> do you mind? You can frisk if away, you buddy. Put your hands where I, I can know, see honestly, them. Honestly, yep, Cat here you go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I it's forgot. So oh, dude. I, we, <laughs> you know what? I actually need to be careful looking for snakes on him. Yeah, um, you, you know where that came from? Uh, no. That I came don't. from Kevin Toma, who's, who's, uh, he's not working with Jomez anymore. I think he sometimes, he'll come say hi every once in a while. But yeah, Kevin was, was the prankster for Jomez back then. <laughs> Clunky donkey. Drop like that, huh? What the? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What the? Dude, that's my snake scream, man. That's, you don't hear that. It's oh like, my God. it's oh. very, very real. Oh, that's, holy crap, that dude. Too good. I really thought that was real for a sec. Yeah, we miss him. <laughs> hey, Yuli, I have an idea. Yuli, do you mind if I frisk you real quick? Come over for here for a cavity snakes. search. Right, come on. No plastic snakes on allowed right here. Turn, turn, to, the, turn to the side and cough, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. You might find something. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't want to look too hard for snakes on, on you boys. Yeah. But in your care. bags. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me open them bags. Just don't bogey it. Did both of his go out here? Get out of there. No adjustment even made? Just both of them out no, here? My, my, no, mine's out there. Okay. Okay. Whose is this green one? You want me to pick it up? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Is this That's yours? Right. Maladjustment. We are so pumped. Yesterday in Persimmon Ridge, did the skins for JK, and then, but right beforehand, we got to see the eclipse in full totality with no clouds in the sky. Oh, thank God the eclipse wasn't one day later, because it would have been such a bummer to be in such a perfect place and miss it, because the weather wasn't cooperating, but it was a fantastic experience. Sit nothing, bro. Oh, sit nothing. You're gonna have to earn it, Bubba. We haven't even talked about it yet, but Germ just won a tournament. Yeah. Germ just won an event. We'll talk about it. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. We've talked. <laughs> Little hyzer. Come on. Oh, mm. Good effort. Yeah. Very nice. Not bad kid. for the first putt in a week. <laughs> no. All right. Outside the circle here? Yes. All right. Okay, it's makeable. Do I need to guess? He's outside the circle. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh, oh full layout already. Seriously, commit to the practice the round. Gotta love the effort. Savages. Come on, bud. This guy loves charity. <laughs> 
All right, just a little bit of a damp comebacker here for Germ to start. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this or is this what happens, but we're, we're just gonna razz him as it goes, you know? This is the best sporting you know, week of the year. I knew none of them. Oh, with the Masters? Yes. You ain't lying. What else is there? Does it matter? Lying. Even in the Yeah, best. yeah, yeah, okay. I was we just wondering if There'll be more than that. He's yeah. freaking huge. I got a huge. league if you want. He's it. absolutely huge. Or, or a pick him. Yeah, let's do it. But that's that's true, game, yeah. Give them a pick too. All right, I got it. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Grillo. Emilio. Emilio, great iron player. Yes. I got Fleetwood, who's always a great underdog. Those are my um, kind of dark horse picks. Mm. But I mean, Scotty Shuffler's playing good. Look for Xander. Oh, yeah. Shoffley, he's playing amazing. He's right let now. a couple final rounds go so far. Yep, he's playing amazing. And Brooks, of course, Brooksy. But I would look for, I like picking underdogs to win this tournament because it seems like a lot do. Yeah. Except for the last couple of years. But what about my boy Tony? Finau looks good, but I don't know. His putter is like shaky, and at right. Masters, your putt's got to be. When we got so, to go to the Houston PGA event a couple weeks ago, yeah. I saw Tony hit it three iron from 250 or something. <laughs> no, it's crazy. When they hit um, the ball, it just is so different. It's I always awesome. forget. I just go over there watching a random card, and it's just like, <laughs> you're like, what? It's like penetrating. Like, yeah. I hit bloopers. <laughs> exactly. Mine goes clunk. There's go, dish. <laughs> what? Hole two. Par three, 360 feet. This is a change going from the left pin position. Now we're going straight up the hill. I mean, this thing plays probably 430-ish, I'm going to guess. You're going to see sidearm flexes, rollers, backhands that get just in front of the garbage on the right and slide up there. Pretty good change, I think. Roll yeah. skis, huh? I see I think a roller. A, I think a roller is a, is a pretty yeah. good play. I like it. I yeah. My initial instinct was roller, and then Luke was like, oh, sidearm flex. And I'm like, bro, that's so far. Let's see. I feel like you just do the, your boss thing you've been doing and just. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a rip, but I, I feel was gonna like, say I blue like, one though. I was gonna uh, go blue one. And the black one's a little stable. No, no, no. This one right here is the, the flippiest one. This Fine. one's got. This one's the one that actually turns. Whatever you say. If you think you know your bag better than I do, go I ahead. I think man. I'm throwing roller. Just saying, don't be worried about going deep, Joe. I ain't gonna try to pro. I, I don't think deep is an I, option. I do <laughs> remember this always being a headwind, so roller's kind of out of the play. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. All right. But today, I'll let Josh get in position, then we'll try to see if I can over. manufacture every single bit of 100% power. It's only hold two, like throw 400 foot forehand. Yeah, yeah they just wake up and throw it. <laughs> this is crazy. They were you asleep out 37 the gate, minutes like, ago? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Boom it. I know. No It's gimmies. not going to be still either. That's yeah. a headwind hole. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got to keep it low, though. Oh, Look man. how far this thing plays. Oh, yeah, bro, that is, is a full-on <laughs> gargantuan hole. I told you. Oh, so who you, you Leon That's Cowboy. annoying. That I, think I, got, I think I got to flip a backhand up for this that bad boy. That is crazy. I don't know. That or just keep that thing. That throw the yellow one. The roller is not a bad yeah, play Yeah, the two-line destroyer might. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I just commentated, Get here, baby. Get what, here. two or three rounds of germ golf. Nice. So I'm like Skip. very Jump. in tune with his bat right yeah. now. Yeah, I know what little height, and, and it's good right now. It's super. <laughs> Coming to Jonesboro, that's the favorite. That is such an exaggeration. Gee, bro. <laughs> such an exaggeration. Kevin, dart Zip all day, day, all day, every day. Every day, skip it right up to it. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <sighs> He's like, thank goodness. <laughs> it felt so good. You give me some, buddy. Dude, That's a beaut, bro. Oh. That was so good. I, can't, I cannot explain the relief. <laughs> that disc was initially shipped to 101 Aylesbury Lane, <laughs> Indian Trail, North Carolina. Giving it away to Addy. <laughs> Sorry for whoever lives there. <laughs> Luke. Luke. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude. Dime piece. Normal person distance. Nice shot, buddy. I feel like hole one and hole two, I might be throwing the same disc, even the same type of shot. Like, highs are released for a late turn. Yeah, yeah. For power, one's going uphill, one's going downhill. Honestly, yeah. If you can throw two shots right, same, off the bat, it makes it easy. Yeah, I mean, don't you think that Calvin's just going to go eagle, eagle on both? <sighs> Depending on the wind. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mic drop on this hole, though, after seeing RT shots, I feel like. Yeah. Till we're all writing deuces. <laughs> Bro, sure. not only did sure. I throw a horrible <laughs> shot, I'm gonna be behind. Oh gosh, I'm There's so like far. only one thing here. <laughs> Just that little bush. I'm like right tree. behind all of it. I might try a flex, like peel it up in here, and then if you hit the tree, who cares? All right. 
Bear with me for this analogy. Does this feel like a little further to Maple? <sighs> Same type of shot, just a little further. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, bud. I'm gonna call Kirsty. I wasn't there to watch it. It's all right. <laughs> That's a good rule right there. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen, but I'm just a steam box over here. Like this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you came. You came ready for the torrential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, because that's the what worse no. is there than getting dumped on unprepared. <laughs> Man, I took it too seriously. Like, yeah, you just got popped. First right twenty in footer in he a week, dude. It. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're breathing again. Right. Oh yeah. Beauty. He's throwing them with purpose right now. Yeah, I heard that this place that, oh, we did say that Jerm won a tournament. We'll yeah. talk about that now. Yeah, we can talk about Wee. that because that did happen. Huge it was kind field. Of like a nasty field, 68 MPOs. Yeah, huge field, top 10 rankers in there. Yep. And you didn't just win, you won from the second card? Yeah. This card, baby. Yeah. That's, that's one thing, like, I'm glad you won. But I am so jealous when somebody wins from the chase card because I've never done it in my career. Wow. Never. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I think, I it think takes a hard course typically. You yeah. Know? Well, you know, remember last year, Matty O won his first Elite Series from chase card, and he was able to tap into something that I think I... <laughs> right here, guys. To your I left, Brad. Oh, Brad. why? Over Brad. here, buddy. Over here. Did, wow. Did you not know scores, Jerm? No, I didn't know scores until 17, and I, I really like not having the pressure of knowing what That's a good way to do Andrew it. Marweed was doing. and yeah. I literally yeah. Matty o Did you feel like anyone. you were? I felt like I was doing something special after I made like a punt on hole 14, because okay. at that point, I was beating Raven, and they'd already brought cameras over to film Raven, who was beating me like a couple holes before that. Check. And when like Raven the, three puts fourteen, he birdies it two stroke swing. Yeah, he was beating by one going into the hole, and then I had him by one. Okay. And then I birdied the next two, and he parred the next two, so I had him by three. And I was like, that stretch of holes that I just birdied consecutively Nasty. was really hard in that wind, yeah. like really hard. Yeah. And I was like, man, that could be enough. And I had a putt from like thirty feet on seventeen, elevated basket on the ridge, and I'm like, nah. Come, let me see the like, score. It's like, I got to see what's going on. And then I had a three-shot lead over yeah. Raven, who had a one-shot lead over those guys. So I, I had four, and they had, like, five to go. Yeah. Raven was solo lead for a while when we switched the camera over to their group, and then almost yeah, instantly I, I was watching on live, and when I clicked on it, Raven was leading. I saw you were one back. I was yeah. like, oh, my gosh. And then I yeah. saw where you guys were compared to them, well, and they just, were all just failing. So, yeah. Such oh. a different pressure when you, don't, when you don't have to, like, go shot for shot. Yeah, and that, I think that's been a problem of mine for a long time. Even 18 years in, I'm still, I'm still like going shot for shot for people. I'm playing to my Me? opponents. Breakdown. What's up, guys? We're at hole three here at Disc Side of Heaven, and this is a hole that bends to the right pretty hard. If you want to open up your line, then you're gonna want to throw more of a stall shot out there. But um, that takes a little bit more power than uh, swooping a hyzer in there. So it's whatever you want to do. But I think a stall is a good play here. Dude, there's people that win eight tiers every year with like a 15 Kale man Visca. eight. Yes, yes. Kale those Visca's eight tiers are what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. No offense to Kale. No disrespect to Kale. No, no but, but this was not eight, one of those. He's won an eight tier every year for like 18 years in a row. Mm-hmm. Or something crazy. Not all eight tiers are equal. Get in there. That, that is a fact. Deep. That one felt like, as far as yeah. The way I had to play, it felt like gonna be a of my elite series wins as, as far as like the same position, right? Because of the field. Yeah, Marley I think so. wasn't missing a I got course in record first, first round. Yeah, good second round. Nico Lancelo, drop the microphone. <coughs> yeah, that's normal. What? Bro, yeah. kick, clocked it. Oh, oh my! <laughs> that's, oh my! It's hilarious. Did thing. it come down? Yeah. yeah, it did. Okay. I thought it was just gonna be full on the other side. Is hey, that your, your place? You went no. par par. Son. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no. Good turn. Turn. I'm trying to show off. That was wild. <laughs> yeah. It's not a bad play. If I can just find that. The That's nice. point. Get one timey. Yeah. Mm, all day. Perfect. Parked. Okay. Making sure. 
Thank you for showing me that. I, I didn't have that yet. I do need to warm my flick up. Hey, Brad, this is a good hill. I want to do a little Zuka versus Bag Boy roll challenge. How about no? You should just let it oh, go. Oh, what a skip. Said if you want him to come back, you should let him go. Oh, here it comes. All right, here we go. You and I, one, two, one, two three, let's go. Just all you gotta do is just let it go, and then we'll see how which one rolls farther. I'm already putting the no-no to this. <laughs> My disc will go right, everywhere. It's been a dream of mine to do this challenge for a while. No, no, we're not doing any of this. Stop it. <laughs> Stop, Brad. No, <laughs> Brad. No, Bad Brad. Brad, we're not talking about a, a foot race. <laughs> but if we are, if, oh, see, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Saved it. Oh, what a save! <laughs> oh, the guy's that's awesome. 62 years old. That's unbelievable. Bro, I've seen this dude fall down so many times. Just absolutely eat it. I got and you. Here's Jim. what's crazy. About I appreciate you, Kev. Think about a 62 year old falling down. They right, break right. stuff. Yeah, yeah, and like eventually die because of said it, breaks. Yes, their, it's their insane. Quality of life goes down. This guy. The rubber band man doesn't break anything. Where does the uh, nickname Junebug come from? Because I've been hearing that a lot lately. And I didn't... It was an old nickname he had way back in the um, 90s. Cause he's just and like... I think it's just because he's kind of small. Yeah, and those things are annoying. And like, honestly... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's quite why, yeah, I don't, right. but it's but... possible. I, don't know, I didn't know him really back in the 90s. Hey, why do they call you Junebug? It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> My great old friend Chris Sikorsky, we called him Wapowski. Okay. And when he'd go up to the T, he'd go like this. And his pre shot, he'd go. Like this weird I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> well, and I started that for calling him Sir Snapsky <laughs> Wapowski. So, how did you get the name Junebug? They started calling me Wapowski Jr. Because I was powering it out there with my... And then the junior became Junebug? And then it became Junior. And then they started calling me June. That was a nice face. Yeah, yeah. That was a nice face. <laughs> Just like a uh, 1970s... I hope was caught on the microphone. That's a, that's a good story. He's All on right. the board! On the board! <laughs> on the board. I'm the worst hole one player in the Pro Tour. You think? Um, there's no question. Yeah, there should be a stat for that, man. There it's be a easy. Way that we can we don't that. even have to have a stat, honestly. It's it's like 100%. I double bogey it quite often. The famous re tee, final round of Waco. Oh yeah, I've done the I've done the final round <laughs> re tee and hole one at Waco. Have you? I have. I have. Uh, Ella Hansen did it this year, I think, or somebody did. Well, I, I uh, <laughs> this is how it went down for me, Luke. I was going into the final round, bogey free. And just get that out of the way. Yeah, let me just go ahead and just knock that one out. Don't worry um, about it. But like I had never finished a tournament bogey free before. Oh my god. So gosh. going into the final round, I'm like, all right, here we are at Waco. I've won would. two in a row. This is 2019, by the way. Wow. So I'm going for my three P from Chase Card. And I'm like, all right, just stay. Gotta be gotta be clean and confident. And if you go bogey free, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And then just I throw it like two feet off the ground right OB. <laughs> Cool. Cool, 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 Dude, cool. It does cool. free you up though. I will say that. Like once I've just trashed the first hole and I'm still alive and my heart's beat and I'm like, all right. Yeah. Let's just get some birdies now. Yep. That was the round I think Simon threw the putter across 18. Oh yeah, and then missed the putt. And then missed the putt. People don't talk about that. Yeah. I, I've seen Simon throw two heroic shots off the tee on hole 18s on the final hole of the final round and then missed a 20 footer subsequently at the Grand Canyon course in Florida on 18 on the ridge oh, for Eagle. Right. And then the putter shot on Wigan. Right. Up. All right, we've gotten to hole four here at the Jonesboro Disc Side of Heaven. This is perfect for me to break down because I never birdied this hole. So I'll tell you how not to play it and I'll tell you how I see people play it. Um, I throw it into the trees and drop down and try and save my par. That's basically what I do. But if you <laughs> if you rip it really far, hyzer flip one up and end up right, you're gonna have an easier approach into the green. Kev Jones can do stupid stuff on this hole. Probably germ. The people with the big forehands. Never birdied do in that. a tournament, buddy. You haven't? Not once. Okay, that makes two of us. Maybe once, but not so, twice. Yeah, you guys can um, 
go get some popcorn or whatever for the next 10 seconds. Oh, well, we'll do that later. Here, it ain't your box. Here, here, here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's mine. No, no was, oh, you burned it? <laughs> yeah, I did. He's two for two. I was just about to throw. Yeah, or got away two for three. No. Get out of here, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. What are you gonna throw a cicada? Only yeah, that's fly. That demonstrating my oh, play. Gosh. I like that. What yeah, is a cicada? Is it good. flippy mid? Are you flipping fairway? Um, I think so. Yeah. It's like a mantis. Yeah. It yeah, feels it like cicada mantis, same mm -hmm. family. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. A little different rim, so cicadas, more comfortable they're coming for some out of people. And they, this year. dude, the seventeen-year cicadas. Yeah. And while we're in Peoria, we're gonna have like the double whammy. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy to hear that. Wow. Yes, Jerm. Wow. Wow. Dude, that's nice. Hey, You've never that's birded good. this hole. That's crazy. That's bro, it's the man. second I shot every year. Has. Yeah. I'm like, I throw the little firebird flex over the hill. It's looking great. I'm oh, you, 35 short. Oh, you throw a sidearm in. I think it's the green for a sidearm, but I just ne or I roll on. Or... Yeah. I missed the putt last year. I remember nice thinking shot. this is nice my shot, first Luke. birdie. Oh, yeah. I'm go, going to try the hyzer play yeah. on this one. I'm going to try to stay oh, out of trouble. I'm gonna, can you scoot over? Eagle skis? Can you scoot over? D-Rock, he's Please. gonna go over your head. I forgot to mention this play, because I also, yeah, can't. Me neither. You think Barella's gonna do that this year? Probably. I don't know why I wouldn't. Like, yeah, I like that. You're crazy if you think I'm not making a Mando sign myself it's and putting it on that tree. <laughs> it's take any bad score out of king, my play. King, 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 king. It really does. Everybody's like, is that a Mando? No, it's, or is it? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised because uh, it's a newer play people have been doing, so I wouldn't be surprised if they put a mando <laughs> on it this year. But yeah, the thing is, I don't think it breaks the hole because it requires so much more Absolutely. distance. Absolutely, you dude. have to go around the world to get to the There's basket. There's nothing, nothing wrong with doing that. And distance is a skill that you got to learn. And if you've got the distance to go, dude, if you so can't far throw out of the way, or grow, dude, just stop being so short. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't say that because there's a lot of short guys who rip. It's true. Yeah, and there's almost no tall guys that don't. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Same in all sports, though. Big it's advantage. True. It's true. Big tall guys like, playing tennis. Every time I'm pictures, like, you freaking. remember how athletic Lamar Odom was <laughs> when he was with Dallas back in the day, or was it L.A.? L.A. L.A. Yeah. It was when sticks are hit me in the eye as I'm running up to my disc as it's underneath the tree, I gotta like. Hold back the complaints. Cause you, I'm like, all right, you just do. check your privilege, bro. Like, check your privilege. You got enough advantages. Bro, you, you just do a 500 foot forehand. Just yeah, chill out. It's bro. all good. <laughs> it's all good. It, it, it actually, like, it's one of those bucket list things. It's like, Dude, you know, one you of know, these days, a, number nine. Oh, wait, it's not nine anymore. Four or five. It'll always be nine to me. Yeah. It'll always be nine. Yeah. But um, hole 13 at Maple Hill. Down the hill before the water shot. Before yeah. The water. That one. I've been playing since 09, and it took me like 12 years to get my first birdie on it. Nico just threads the mid, aces it last Every time. year. Oh, the cut roll ski? That's gonna be 100 left. It's like by the porter potty over there by old 11's tee pad. Oh, I got the sweet downhill, the down slope, yeah. I, mean, I feel like it's the only way I could have got that. <laughs> And it gets me oh, left right here, Luke's, away from the freaking go through the, if I yank it way no. right. Dude, this is roller. why I don't birdie it. Huh? Uh, is whatever. it still cool or was it ever cool to, to end words with ski at the end of it? I don't think it was ever cool. It might be like a thing that your group says or something, like an insider deal. Like Luke's ski, it's your turn to Yeah, throw? yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Like there. Oh, okay. Not full uncool. Yeah, I'm not like looking at you like, what an idiot. <laughs> Good. Say hi. She did. Maybe. She didn't. Yeah, that's short. It's down there. Did you go roller too? Yeah. It plays far, huh? I just was straight. I threw the, the hyzer pretty straight. Okay. I was 400 from that tree though, so. You know, reasonable. Yeah, and it's flatter over there. Yeah, yeah, it was like pretty Y'all open. Are crazy kids going roller. If I go lefter and shorter, mm -hmm. I'll have a better angle. I've never seen roller on this approach. I just threw it. 
Well, yeah, Just until now. Yeah. I've seen so about far. everything here. People try freaking anything to get I used, this hole. You used to be able to go over there and like mm. flex it through. No, it's a, it's more open than it's ever been. Ooh. Well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go yeah. Well, I think oh, you still that's how you do it. You just yeah. guarded it. I don't know, man. That's, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's when perfect. I do that shot, they're Jeez. long. Yeah. <laughs> You're a new germ, though. You're kind of a winner now. <laughs> I love this. Hey. Germ? Yeah. Yeah. We can change the narrative around. I think it's so funny how many, maybe maybe not our audience on Jomez, but maybe my, maybe our audience on Jomez think that I'm just like a novelty commentator, like. I guess it's been a long time since I've won a tournament, so we're pretty far removed from me being in contention on a weekly basis. But some of the comments that I was reading, because I still do that, because I've got a shallow ego, but I'll read those comments, and people are just like, yeah, but look at the field size, like saying that it was bad, or the only reason Germs on lead card is because people miscounted their score, which is actually objectively funny. But I'm like, hey, all right, you can chill a little bit on the disrespect. Like, I can still play a little bit. Nice no. up. Not recommended. Did you Tickville. I just wanted to. Did you see a green one rolling? <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, <All right>. no. <laughs> uh. We got ivy in here, ticks, branches. Call that boy Davy Crockett. Oh, I got it right He's here. He's pioneering. Oh, okay. Probably Trailblazers. Guess I shouldn't have went that way, huh? Oh, this is not good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Talking about the poison ivy you're standing in? Yes. The, oh, I yeah. got a line. Bro, I don't normally get poison ivy, but I'm gonna be real vulnerable with you. I got some in the backside. Oh, no. And bro, it's just getting worse. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, I got like, one chance at this. If I miss this line, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> and it's like itchy, so you just get like a little, yeah. little hand swipe, a little yeah. credit card action. And all of a sudden, the oils. It was just yeah. Still yeah. not good. It's still not good. You're gonna not, just have to spend some naked time in your hotel room this week. Hotel room? You mean the RV? Yeah, oh, the RV. Yeah. Home is where I park it. Yeah. Spend some naked time in there, just let, let it dry out. I hope the rain continues so I can just take a couple days off. I'm tired, bro. Dude, winning, where's you at? <sighs> I, I honestly think it's one of the most exhausting things Bye. there is. Nice Brilliant. shot. To wow. focus like that? Like, you don't it's, even understand how tired you are until it's done. Bro, I'm, I'm kind of like, stuck every, in this every, ivy, no. Every time in the past that I had won, like, it was like this overwhelming experience. People come up to you, they all want to say hi and sh share the love and all that. But you're like sitting there and you're just trying to like, reflect on everything right and like that's the time i've actually wanted to do the most of yeah time, like sit there and just be like i'll take that what i just connect nice buddy into. how do i like, <laughs> bottle it up yeah. how do i drink that later on when i need it yeah interesting yeah but like i actually get like really like overwhelmed mm. in those moments mm. but I, yeah dude especially right, so i'm like i'm tired and then we did the skins yesterday yeah. i know and then, yeah. it hasn't stopped dude it hasn't stopped man <laughs> it'd be nice to take a break tonight and tomorrow yeah Oh, Yo! Don't. No, oh, no. Hey, you were on the west side of the basket. <laughs> Bad joke? All right. Got it. Not great. I mean, it Not was great. left side. Oh, come on. That wasn't, whatever. I'll defend it. I you had it to be like right. ready to read the cursive on the basket. It seemed tricky. Nobody can read cursive these days. Nobody can write it. All my teachers were like, you're going to need this. And uh, Mrs. Turner, you were wrong. I'm gonna do a germ joke. Dang, you yeeted that in, didn't you? Yeah, thank you. I'm glad I got a giggle. I've out never of heard thing. him say that, but you know why? Because I'm not that clever, Kevin. That was funny. Thanks. I don't know. They just come to me. You're a funny guy. <laughs> okay, do we go there yet? No, we go here. We don't. The order stays so. the same, doesn't it? Or no? I don't think do we not, so. Do we not go to 10 anymore? I don't. Or old do 10? Do we go to 10? That one, I don't know how else we would play. Like, it's yeah. such a good little. We did? Yeah, I love that one. I didn't look at, I played the whole, the course yesterday normal. And jumped All right over there. Look, ski. We would have to go over here. Wait, wait, wait. Thank We're going to check this one. I don't know what hole we go to. Okay. Cool. 
around here, I guess, they made that new road, like to get into the new number one. And apparently Evan Spur has just been loading up on our favorite agates to dig when we're in Jonesboro, Crowley Ridge agates. It's become like a tour thing. There's 20, 30 of us out in these rock piles and gravel beds and stuff. Yeah. Just like, you know, you gotta do something else. Sit around in some rocks. You guys should try it too. Check your area for rock hounding. Be like, my city, rock hounding on Google. There's something around you. Fossils, minerals, there's gotta be something. Dude, I'm steamy, bro. You gotta be steamy. I'm steam fest. I'm like a sauna. Okay, hole five now. It's weird to call it originally hole 10. 360 feet straight, low ceiling. Still a log on that right side, which prevents a lot of those low backhand understable fairway drivers from getting the skip up to the pin. Um, but still, you're gonna see a lot of players go back in mid or fairway, left side of that, and every time it gets the anti skip towards the pin. So that's probably the overwhelming play, unless you have a forehand that stays really straight with a minimal skip at the end. Mm, which he does. Which I try to have. I'm really, been, I've been leaning on this uh, Sexton Firebird lately. I saw you throw so many good shots. Yeah, this yesterday. thing has been really nice at this distance. Yep. I've normally tried to like, slow down like a Wraith or Destroyer. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to speed up a fire. You threw that shot on 15 yesterday during skins and it was nice. Bro. Did you make some skinnies? Yeah, not as many as someone Don't else. Don't spoil it. Dude. Don't yeah. ruin it. Well, you just totally spoiled it. Did I, is that a spoiler? Did I just Big no, 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 yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. I mean, what? Well, yes. Slightly, but it's also like an intriguing one. Mm. Mm, who made more? Who did Who it? even played with you? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this oh, guy wow, is dialed. Dude, yeah. Jump in there, baby. Do it. Ooh, oh, job. that is so man. Oh, lucky. Oh, it's not me, I'm a bogey man best. too. Bogey boys? <laughs> we got You're the bogey bros. All right, I'm gonna throw Kevin's feedback on him, ensuring no birdie for him. You guys know how that's work. that works, right? <laughs> Have you thrown your M4 yet? Oh no, but you I can't throw it this far. No, nah, maybe not hole. Yeah, we'll get not, it. Not, not hole five. All right, start it. Right at the camera. That is not it. Whoops. Brad, fight. hit him. <laughs> that could fight. <laughs> so, so about that, about that feedback shot. Oh. Is it over it? Is it over it? Negative. Oh, yes. just barely. Jeez. I think that log degraded just a couple inches from That's last yeah, year. Yeah, that, that was hitting at 2022. 20, nah, dude. Nah. It's high enough to, club, to cover 2023, what? but. That's Skip. dope. Boing! That, my comment has nothing to do with that shot. Can you throw that green? No. You can't right here? There's no airspace up there. It would just hit a tree. What about right, right there? Bro has already mapped it the It would just hit a tree. Okay, there's fine. there's trees right. in the yeah. way. I know I don't speak the language. I'm just wondering yeah. if you can ask the Let guy throw another. what the Whoop. special for the day yes. is. <clears throat> One more? No, I'm good. All right. I don't know. What is the to, special for the day? <laughs> yeah, I've referred to Kevin Jones's grenade prowess as like a language I don't speak. Bro, so when like, he showed me the video of what he did at Idlewild last year, and he had like a distinct landmark, so like you could go to that spot on the course and then laser it in. I, I was thinking to myself, like, I think I know where that spot is, and that's like 400 plus. It was like 420 feet, yeah. and he just dimes it on the, the, the bullseye. Yeah, people are messing around with it. Like you see Ganon and the boys play yeah, with it. Yeah, he turned it into a shot. He turned it into a shot. It's like another language too, so it's like we showed up at a restaurant and I'm like, Kev, dude, I dude, there can't was that read that. one there was that one Veterans Park open all those years ago where Miles Seaborn oh, yeah. and Eagle McMahon. Yeah. And someone else. It was like three of them that were just grenading every shot and it was like the grenade festival. I thought it was the new shot for disc golf. <laughs> those are the only guys that I saw throwing grenades back in the day like that. Yeah, Kev Kev has turned into a distance shot. It's yeah. a silliness. Yeah. Jake Hebenheimer's throwing really good ones. Oh, is he? Him and Kev practice a bro, lot. It, like, so you know, it rips just... on my thumb pad, bro. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of pain. Yeah, I've never thrown a good grenade in my life. Oh, 
Me and Kevin are just laying Oh. Up. Oh, looks so good. It's simple math. If I hit the branches and fall down, it's just make it air ball, roll, carry the two, go for it. Ah. Almost there. It's a weird one. I'll hit it in the tournament. We'll just save it. Good effort. Well, you know, sometimes you just don't have much. Why didn't I spin this? Okay. I didn't see it either. I didn't think I was that short. Back-to-back -back birdies. We'll see. With the same Could ball. Be a four. Oh, it's 100%. Could be, Could be a, a four. four. He's never missed one of these. Ever. Ever. But when they hit the rim, they do roll really far. Good Jeez putt. Louise. Wow, dude. <laughs> Nice bird. Yeah, try hard over here. <laughs> try hard. If you make a putt, all of a sudden you're trying to go on it. <laughs> you threw a good drive too, nerd. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I did try hard twice. Seriously, though. That's probably the insult I've understood the least over the years. <laughs> the try hard insult? Yeah, when someone <laughs> makes fun of you for try hard. <laughs> like, like Dude, wait a second. You're what? burning all these holes, bro? Quit it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Sweet announcement. Joe Mez back doing tour series with Discraft. This is a jawbreaker flex Z cicada. You can see all the swirls. This is awesome. These are actually going to drop on Friday, 2 p.m. Central Time. We are also releasing a few of these early today. If you want to get the one that we use in the practice round, you can do that, or you can get the other ones that we are releasing, but you have to be a Patreon member. Hole six is a par four, 560 feet. I think this is the only real gimme hole on the course, but if you don't get around the corner, it can get pretty tough. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to go hyzer, get left or far, sidearm in, some guys that don't do that do a big turnover, but I bet this place is the easiest hole in the course. I don't usually do this, but I ah, do have really? some Ooh. some big country Carolina Reaper, dude. What is that? It's a beef jerky, but I was just gonna put it in my lip like it was dip or something, you know? It's from Carolina, Carolina Reaper. It's a little spicy. No, what is it? What that is makes it? Oh, it's, it's just like the, the shred or whatever they call it. You rub it on the fork and beat it? No, you take a pinch, bro. Put her in there. Oh, just like chewing tobacco. Is that how you do it? That just sounds really nice. Dude, it. come if, on. If it weren't the reaps, I'd be doing it. Come on, dude. What's in there? All right, give me a little time to pinch it. It's just Not a tobacco. It's, no, it's a beef jerky. Oh, man. I'm Get a big one. one. Yeah, yeah, slip it in there. I'm going to go double. This is a terrible promotion. <laughs> mm. Oh, they, they did it for... <laughs> Whoa, that's hot. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. You want a little... It's a beef jerky. No. Oh my god, dude. That looks it's horrible. So spicy. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, that looks grody. Oh. Mm -mm. Good. Dude, mm. why? Oh my god. Oh, it is. It is. Ugh. I'm not very good at this whole dip thing, though. Ugh. Ugh. Tried it when I was like 16. It didn't work out. <laughs> I tried it once when I was driving, pulled over, puked. <laughs> you guys supposed to eat it? I literally pulled over, got dizzy, thought I was going to crash, yeah. and puked everywhere. Similar fish for me. It was a Carolina Reaper beef jerky, but it's definitely still just Carolina Reaper. Uh. That'll do. Same exact hole. With all the changes, this one seems like it's weird it stayed. You know what though, low, dude. Good shot. Noise. Good thing the grass is mowed. Did you just know. see what he just did? He hit the grass. Right there. <laughs> 30 feet in front I of took me. It, I took it a little low. <laughs> you probably killed life. I wonder if any of those <laughs> That's so hot. Oh my gosh. Good shot. I'm a conservationist. That's what I like to say. <laughs> Slip. 
Where are you at in Russ? In what? Russ. Non-existent. Where were you? Were you guys building some sick cities? And it's a new thing every week, man. We do it. It's a, it's a system, <laughs> an absolute unit. Every Who's on week. your team? Tristan, Austin, Hannah, and then a couple other guys I've met on the game. Nice. I, I'm afraid to try it. I know I'll get so. Yeah, deep. you would. It's your style game. No, a lot no. of running. A lot of like, just like playing sneaky. Oh, I like the sneaks. Here they come out with the hottest pepper. He's like, actually. Yeah, try. Oh it. gosh. Should we let him redo that? That was so bad. I don't know. I think it's where you played Madison Walker. Nah, no, that's mean. That's mean. That one was interesting, though. We, we already gave her the business for that one. Well, do you mess with hot stuff? Yeah. Like, well, this is what happened. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with hot stuff. Like, I was the kid who was like, oh, I'll eat the hottest thing ever. Uh -huh. My brother's buddy was like, well, I got something that's too hot for you. I'm like, there's nothing that's too hot. Like, I'd get the extreme hot on the wings and the blah, you know. Mm -hmm. Just love it. Still love hot stuff. But he comes <laughs> over, I don't know what. Wow. Get up. Go. Amazing tree. Wow. I don't know Lord. what it was, but he had a little capsule. A little tincture. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, he, and at the end of the capsule, like when you pull it off, there's a needle that came out of it. And he's like, <laughs> okay, oh. hit, this is all you need. And he goes, and I'm like, oh, give me that thing. And I go, boom, boom, and did that thing. Bro, it ruined me for two years. Anytime I would have a, a lick of hot sauce, I would start hiccuping. For two years. <laughs> Anytime I would drink soda, the fizz and the spice of like, <laughs> I would, no, it would make me hiccup. Oh my God. I couldn't have hot stuff for two years. Oh my and so God. since then, I just like the taste of it. And I don't go, like, you now I get like crazy. medium wings, you know? Yeah, what I mean? right. I'm like, I just, it ruined everything. Oh my for me. gosh. It was, it was brutal. It's, you know, it's, it honestly, Scott. it's Thanks, a little Scott. refreshing that your ego like yeah. made you learn something though. Me or you, Jaren? Yeah. It, that one right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, like... Yeah, for sure. It was brutal, dude. <laughs> Having this moment of pure confidence just, like, backfired so hard. I didn't know they made stuff that hot. I know. You found out, though. It was so bad. But, I mean, since then, you know, oh, I've I shorted it. Stuff. Like, I've done hot, hot I challenges. I've I done, like, wing it. challenges and stuff. Perfect. That's better. Go oh, wait. Is that good? Go. Is that oh, it? shorty boy. Oh, wait. We shorty both boy. shorted. Yeah. Four in the face. Oh, yeah. How about you just crush it, Paul? <laughs> He's short? No, nah, you're good. You got that's, that. That's better than Circle's Edge where we're at. Artemis I miss my height by a million miles. <laughs> Stevie Rico, man. This generation doesn't know, bro. You what? They don't know about no Stevie Rico. No. They don't no. know about Raincoat Ricky. <laughs> Were you even around for Raincoat Ricky? Probably not. Raincoat they don't know Ricky, about Nervous dude. Dave. <laughs> nervous. What's that? Nervous Dave. Ner yeah, were you around for Nervous Dave, bro? <laughs> Good luck. That I guy was 39 it. in a row on your butt. Yeah, every putt hit the rim and flopped in. <laughs> but they all went in. Why Nervous Dave? What do you mean? What? Uh, Because Dave... Dave was always nervous. Just like an anxious he guy. Wasn't, it was the more anxious. It's just anxious, yeah. yeah he wasn't never nervous. Nervous, that nervous guy was isn't the right word. Cold. He but. developed his putt literally to like, like a, a push putt handles nerves better than a spin putt does, right? That's what they say, yeah. That's, and well, so people he believe He was literally it. the living embodiment of it though. Yeah. <laughs> like he would have all these nerves. His hands would literally, you could like see them shaking and he was just cashing putts in from 40 and in. Interesting. One of the best players ever. I'd say, he was would like, you say top five or top six? Top Players four. ever? Top four. He might be top three ever. Well, who's your three then? Let's hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, list it then, bro. Ken Climo, Paul McBeth, and then it's a foot race, bro. You don't have Ricky or Barry as number three for sure? Dave won every single major there is to win. Yeah, that's, yeah. It, there's like a four-way tie for third. And he has like other records and stuff. Like the guy played forever. He won so many things. Yeah. yeah. Ricky's definitely right there. But like I said, I think it's a foot race. I'm, yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. an informed it's opinion. It's a discussion for sure. Mm -hmm. Why did I throw so short?
Yeah, Paul. Little zipski. It's always fun when you have something that dissects your vision and where your arm is. Nice one, dude. Back edge of circle. Hell yeah. This place can provide you with some tough looks. Yeah, this hole can I think suck, it's the easiest dude. hole on the course, but it can get away from you pretty fast. It shouldn't be this hard. It used hard. to be hole 15, but that ain't the case no more. Well, I guess it's hole two now. Little All right, a little zipper. That little dinky hyzer there, buddy. He's saying that used oh. to be easy. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. My okay. mind went yep. the same. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so irrelevant. You got it, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I started getting lower on my putt. Get that power. It doesn't make sense how you get more power from dropping down, but it totally gives you more power. Well, well, you drop down for other reasons. Well, no, check it out. Like, anytime you drop down. No, this isn't a gimme at all. What the heck am I doing? Farther behind. So as you come up, you're putting more rotation. You gotta so do that. Like here, yeah. I'm blocked. Right, right, right. But here, I can come down. Yeah. Anytime you, these fingers are pointing backwards, you're creating more spin. No doubt. Didn't make sense in my head, like a lot of things in athletics, but <laughs> once you start doing it, you know? I mean, Kevin freaking, when he comes down, oh, his stuff's like turning like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super spin. Yeah. Like, but plus you get more lag for sure. It just yeah, comes like, out of the hand cleaner than if I pull it down flat on the, that angle. All right, we're at hole seven at disc side of heaven. This is a par four marked at 655 feet. We got a downhill tee shot. Anything over this OB river is gonna be a great shot and then you're gonna be throwing a nice touchy putter, maybe a sidearm chip shot from there. This is one of the bomber holes for sure. Just throw it in like you did back in, uh, what was that, 22? Any birdies there? Yeah, we'll see. Jakey boy said reach further down, give me that nose angle. Oh no. He's gotta get through, baby. It won't. It Air! Won't. <laughs> Air! <laughs> it would be a miracle. I think yeah. it did. I no, <laughs> no, I just saw it. No, negative. Even if it did, I don't. Think. It's a bad place to be. That was the only birdie, right? Just him. Yeah. Yeah. You can take it back all the way over here, though. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm serious. Off the line. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Around. I know, but right. I thought you were saying all the way back here. You could. Yeah, yeah you technically, technically could bring you could it back do here that if you too. want. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Is this on the line? Close to it. Monster. Kaboom. Great shot. Yeah, yep. good. good shot, buddy. You're bombing. We bombing. And we hope you like. <laughs> bombing. Find that air. That's 90% air for sure. That's just gone. They nope. hit the center tree. Oh, B. So I started power gripping at Houston. First tournament ever. With and the, you finished well. I definitely shanked some shots like that, though. Okay. I, I lost about six or seven because of it. But, dude, Air. when I get it right, Air. your boy gets another 50. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin. Sorry. All right, I got a question for the two Arkansans here. I feel like this is a pretty good hole to bring it up. Let's do it. I was going to bring it up earlier, but it really hadn't come up yet. But if you guys were to win here, would it mean more to you being – having the connections to the state? Big time. You think so? Dude, this place would go wild if either of us won yeah. here. I'm telling you. I'm thinking about- Especially him. That, yeah, like what, that throwing for you on this hole was, where does that rank on your like all time moments in disc golf so far? Well, way up there. That yeah. was an epic moment for sure. Because what, you hit, you threw it in, you hit a nasty jumper over there on that putt. You were using those yellow putters. I still remember the <laughs> ones you were using. Sorry, bro. You were on fire that day. Yep. What would a mean, win here mean to you? Uh, it would mean more than normal, that's for sure. More is than there, normal, yeah. Is there another event, not a major, that would matter more to you, Kev? No. That's what I was gonna, yeah, really wanted to get at that. Like, is this the top of the list? Well, then I say mm -hmm. that. Jones Boogie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, I should have I said that. When people go out there and then throw yeah, I got straight it right into here, the hillside. Actually, you, I'll be back. Okay. Um. Oh wow. Go in. 
That's it. Jeez, Louise. That looked sick. That was great. Not quite. Dang it. Just had to get it over there. Yep. You almost have to like yank it. Pretty bad spot to be. Oh God, I never threw it. I knew it too. I could have done that's that. A, so. That's a fun one. Thank you. Gosh, dude. <laughs> Cat oh it up. my gosh, I would like to just throw shots. All right, let's go run that putt we shouldn't be running. Show you guys what happens when you get aggressive here on old hole 12. If you want the glory, you gotta throw it 100. <laughs> Jared, he did. what is that? I pull yanked it. Oh, perfect D though. That's fine. Yeah, I just that's pulled good. it. Results oriented is not the way to be. Nope. It's there. Sat. Did you run that? I mean, don't even say. Like, it. Are you asking my body or my mind? <laughs> okay. Type of deal. Type of deal. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, so oh. sick. Good. Is that a birdie? Nice putt, dude. Yeah. Solid action. I want to see how close I can get to the tee pad. You ready? Oh. No! <laughs> oh, dude, it's been doing so good and not Yard falling sale. lately. Yard <laughs> Dang. Three discs, scorecards, pencils, highlighters, Rude. sharpies. <laughs> Yuli's rookie card. Range finders. <laughs> Yard sale, baby. Huge <laughs> <laughs> scorecards. Cash nice. money. That funky cash money. Oh. Try again. Oh my gosh. Baby turtle. For real? Tiniest one ever. Best size in the business. Are you kidding me, dude? What are you even doing you here? That? Thanks. My eyes. What up, boy? Dude, that's a bird. Grab that bad boy and drop them. You could be right. You could be right. How did he get up here? That is like literally a quarter. It's a quarter sized turtle. Hi, Bubba. It's yours now, bro. What's up, dog? You're his daddy. Are you a snapper? Are you gonna bite my finger off? <laughs> Dang, what a dope little turtle guy. I want to find you a nice little home, bro. More trash, just dice. I think we accounted for anything else. I think we accounted for it. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. No, he's a snack. He's ready to go. We should put him on. That's not a creek, Aww. boy. Oh, that's Junior. We gotta put him. <laughs> hey. We gotta put him out there. Oh, that's We're gonna junior. find a little pond for him. We need a. You think he's a water dog? He was way up there. I think a. I think a bird grabbed him and and. And he escaped. I think. That'd be a cool pet. I kind of want it. All right, hole eight, 353. The standard route is around the outside, cutting as close as you can to the tree, keeping the height um, and making it flip up a little bit. It's easy to push into these trees to your right, and it's also just like a rollaway green. You can throw the perfect shot and just roll to like 40 long. So that's why this left gap has become really popular. People throwing understable fairways or really big forehands. I'm gonna go understable fairway, but I'm not up. I took a dub. Germs four under, and I'm even, and I'm gonna catch him. Seems unbelievable he's four under, but he is the champ, so maybe it happened. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, 
very sorry. I can do the same thing. Good kick. Remember what we were just talking about? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Like the case of not being completely cool to me, mate. <laughs> like we were talking about. Pretty um, cool. uh, yeah, it is me. Yeah, yeah nice We're going to try again. <laughs> yeah, they say get back on the horse, you know. That was... I've never seen right of or high of that branch. Oh, that's oh, all Ken day, Jones. Ken. What? Yay. Don't roll. Hello. Nice shot, buddy. Thank you. Oh, Useful. I bogey. I dubbed. <laughs> Me? Yeah. So much for demonstrating my new grip. I don't know how much. <laughs> what are it's you? It's Tuesday, brother. <laughs> yeah, are you going to explain to the class what's going on? I think. The comments will explain it. All right, fair. You guys just aren't cool enough, I, I'll, honestly. I deleted TikTok. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I really want to explain it, honestly. <laughs> Please do. There's this kid that's blowing up right now. His name's Sketch. He plays, like, Madden and okay. a bunch of video games, and he's extremely viral right now. Okay. And he has, like, nervous tics, and that's what he does. It's like, it's Tuesday, brother. He, like, has this face okay. squint. Yeah. And Flex out. He's, yeah, he's awesome. Nice. He's been like playing, Little sneaky. like pl running routes for pro football players and stuff. Oh like, my gosh. They, they love him. Oh wow. I'm doing that play for sure. All right, so we did uh, we did Masters yeah. picks earlier. Oh, okay. yeah, we'll Is that something later. you want to get down on, Jeremy? You want to pick a Masters game? What do you got? What do you got? Well, oh, like Yule turn, said, though. Emilio Grillo. Yeah. Emilio Those are my underdog. If I had to pick a winner, Scotty Scheffler. Scotty Scheffler, obviously, obviously. But then right. Xander. I got Xander Shoffley looking good. You guys sleeping on Tiger? Tiger's always at the Masters. <laughs> yeah, he has always shows yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't count that guy out. He's one of those guys. I know. He's been playing hard. Hey, he could do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say Rory McIlroy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Have you seen those memes about him? No. They show his betting odds and everything, and it goes, if you put a hundred dollars on him, he's plus eight thousand or plus eight hundred to win. <laughs> that means you would make zero dollars at the Masters. <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> that means there's a hundred percent chance. <laughs> so you make nothing. <laughs> Weird a little shot. Noise. Hey, hit my other desk. Ah! Fat guy in a tiny coat. Oh no, dude! Couldn't get the freaking <laughs> loudmouth germ back there out of my head. <laughs> oh, big guy in a tiny jacket. <laughs> Gosh, au revoir, <laughs> bro. So that is unmakeable back there. It really is. Yo, ciao. What the are only you thing you can do from there is get images. really close and roll back down. They said it's unmakeable. That is false. No, it's makeable, but. I got a window. Yep. There it is. I take back the unmakeable That's all you need. comment. That's all you need. I would be very annoyed though. Give me a look. Poor Yuli. <laughs> Don't do it. Sit. Oh what? my goodness. Oh my gosh. Luke! Oh my gosh. Luke. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll dial that in before she starts. Yeah. I yeah. So. <clears throat> All right, hole number nine, 350 foot par three. If you remember hole 17 from the prior course layout, this is basically the landing zone for the tee shots that you wanted to be in. Um, this is going to be a little short of the ideal landing zone, so it's a little bit longer than the approach shots from prior years. The angle is kind of tricky because we got the right side leaning out limbs that are gonna hold the forehand from trying to go straight at it. So you have to throw maybe like a flip up forehand on the outside, still wanna keep it tight to those limbs. The backhand has a better chance of being parked because the shape, I think, opens up the fairway the best, but I think the play is to try to get as close to circle's edge if you can get inside that, good for you. Right oh yeah. Dimed it. Oh. You liking it? Flat skip. Love it. Circle's edgy. There you go. Hmm. 
are the ticks out right now? What do you we think, Luke? You I see? saw a couplet for Simmon, but I, I, that's the play. That would be fun. Yeah, I agree with you. That's the play, bud. What would, oh, the backhand roadrunner? No, no, forehand. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's just silly. Yeah, I don't think you need that much flip up. Okay. Well. Well, Jeremy. Whoa. When I look at a you shot like this little and I see hazard on the left and you have a roadrunner <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> Firebird, I mean, yeah. my golf mind kicks in. No doubt. Technically, Jerm's gone above the first branch, two holes See what in I'm a saying? <laughs> uh, that's, that's actually safe. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually fine. Over Left there. of hazards, no problem. All right, land it right there. So do that. Get on edge. Yeah, that's all day. Nice shot. Yeah. A little damp. Give him that. Yeah, let's go, Brad. Just feathering it on the wide line. Oh, Ooh. Sneaking in all Batman. Oh, that's the height issue. <laughs> Dang it. So this is a brand new M4 being given away to one of you guys. I've never thrown this disc, nor do I throw the M4 mold. CTP challenge. Me and you never thrown. Okay, let's do it. You've thrown that before? 350? Yeah. You can't get in on this. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Go in the hole. Eight. Eight to play. Oh, let's just... That's the only time it's going to be thrown. Next person that throws a G. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hilly. Oh, but look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a backhand hole, <laughs> like we said. You, you, you keep doubting the Artemis McDartemis, but I'm telling you. This is my giveaway disc. I've thrown it a few times, so it's been worked in a little bit. So Ooh, yeah. it's... That was actually in the video that we played on YouTube, right? Yes. Yep, that was used in the... In the practice round. He's got a pterodactyl on it. Yeah, it's a beefcake. Somebody else needs to be throwing it. It's going to a new home. <laughs> a new home. So what do you think? Is uh, is 18 going to play easier because it's not the last hole? And is number one going to play easier because it's like while you're warmed up? Like, I, I think it, did number one will I... play easier. I don't think 18 gets easier. Okay. <laughs> I'm 100% like, <laughs> with Yuli there. Yeah. I think it's just tough. more people birdie one, same on 18. That's yeah. probably right. Oh, this is tough because if I do my regular line, I'm hitting those branches. No doubt. No doubt. Put just lean over a little it. more. Yep. A little more juice. <laughs> branches. Do it! Oh! <laughs> I said if I threw this Kata better, I was going to take it. So. Okay, so Kev's right there. So I get a birdie. What? Did you? Yeah. Really? Parked it? Dude. Yes. Okay, there's my A3. Nice shot, oh, dude. Bird. Check that out. Giveaway. Flies amazing. Only shot ever with it. Two feet. CTP. This is going to be yours. Patreon member. If you aren't a Patreon member, you better be one because then you get a chance to win that bad boy. Oh! oh too. Great Woo! putt. That You're is so jump crazy. Putt Jones. That reminded to me of Idlewild jumping off the culvert after you hit that birdie putt. That too. Do you almost finished it? No. Oh, it just, you just in those leaves. Yeah, just in the leaves. Soft landing unless there's rocks under it, you know. Left side. That boy good, baby. That was a good stick. Woo! Got a good stick. Oh, wow, star frame. Is it really? No. Yes. Uh -oh. Yuli, you missed your putt. Bro, I said I was taking the cicada if it was closer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's for charity, basically. No. What are you talking about? Thank you. All right, guys, it's nine down here at the new layout here, Jonesboro. Uh, we've seen all the new holes. There's some new OB, I think, maybe on the back nine that we get to learn about. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, got five under here, Kev. Two under. One up. One under. One under. And then don't forget, you can win this Cicada, this M4, and this PA3. Uh, yep, Color Glow PA3. So they're going to sign theirs personally. We're mm. all going to sign this one. Correct. You've got to be a Patreon member to win. That's right. All right. uh, and come back and watch this comeback. Germ's not going to win. Little newsflash. Spoiler watch me alert. crumble on the back nine. <laughs> <laughs>